this tutorial will cover how to send and receive a SOAP and MIME messages using the HIPAA-Suite eligibility checker. Both SOAP and MIME are specified under core connectivity rules. Which of these protocols you will be using will depend on your trading partner. Whether you send a MIME or SOAP message is determined by how you have set up your trading partner. Under EDI file exchange method, select MIME for MIME messages and SOAP for SOAP messages. I will now open the work grid to see my eligibility requests and filter them to select only those that I will be working on. To the far right of the grid is the status icon column. The status icons describe the state of an eligibility request. Whether a request is ready to send, has been sent and is waiting a response, or a response has been received. When in doubt, hover over the icons and a tooltip will appear to explain them. To send an eligibility request, right click on the request and click send to trading partner. The trading partner you are sending the request to and the send method whether it be MIME or SOAP is determined when you create the request and select the trading partner. Since I am sending a single request it will be sent in real-time mode and I should expect a response in under 20 seconds. Here I have received the response. To send a request in batch mode, select multiple requests, right click any of them, and click send to trading partner. Since requests sent in batch mode do not need to be answered until the next business day, I will instead receive a batch receipt confirmation. However, an acknowledgement should be ready within the hour. To view this acknowledgement, right click on the batch request and click fetch acknowledgement. This will send your trading partner an acknowledgement retrieval request, which will be answered with the acknowledgement. The same applies for fetch result, which will send your trading partner a batch result request, and this will be answered with the results of the eligibility request. To view an eligibility response, right click on the request that has received a response and click view response. Alternately, you may double click on the row. And here we see the response in an easy to read format, listing all of the patient's eligibility or benefit information, including any errors that might have occurred. And this concludes the tutorial.